it's Laura with Bloomery Vintage and today I'm going to do a short video just to kind of explain how I wash my vintage clothing and if you are interested in starting your own collection maybe give you some tips to help you keep your items looking as beautiful as possible for as long as possible because what's the point of having really wonderful clothes if you're too afraid to get a little bit of coffee on them. So the first thing we need to talk about is what to look for in clothes. Unless you have a really good friend who's a dry cleaner, um, things that are labeled dry clean only, you have to be very careful with. If they use a chemical and it doesn't get the item wet and it cleans it in some sciencey way that I don't understand, but also can't afford. Silks and furs and anything with intricate beadwork or sequins does recommend that to be dry clean, but for the most part, most items I have that say dry clean only, I throw them in the wash and they're fine. Now, how to wash them? I put all of my vintage pieces, delicate pieces, anything I love, in the washing machine, gentle cycle, cold wash, only cold. We are only using cold water. Keep in mind, fabric is at its most susceptible to damage when it's wet. Don't put jeans and anything with buckles and hooks so no bras are washed with my clothing because you don't want that to snag and tear. If you do have to do any spot cleaning, you are gonna do that by hand because you are not gonna put any harsh chemicals or weird stuff in that washing machine. Just a little bit of detergent to get it clean. So that's short. So that's pretty much the it for the cleaning. It's cold water, gentle cycle, with other soft, delicate things. Drying is gonna be just as easy. Don't put your stuff in the dryer. I don't put my modern day purchases in the dryer. I definitely don't put anything vintage in the dryer. Do not use the dryer. The dryer wrecks your clothes, especially if it says dry clean only. If you have something that says dry clean only, you can probably get away with washing it in the washing machine, but do not under any circumstances put it in the dryer. Wool, certain cottons, it's gonna shrink it, it will mess it up, it will make it bunch, just don't. Dryers are evil. So if you can't put them in the dryer, what are you to do? Well, you can get a clothes rack, a hanging rack, or if you have a clothesline in your backyard. I do not have a backyard because I live in an apartment. So I bought a, it is an, it's an old shoe rack, but I use it to dry my clothes pretty much once they come out of the wash, um, cause it does have a rinse cycle, so they're not dripping wet. They're damp. And I hang them up on my little shoe rack, clothing drying rack that I got for $3 at a thrift store, which is why I use it. And it does take some time to dry. Um, really thick pieces, wool sweaters, something like that. Um, it could take, ooh, I mean, I've had it take two days before. Uh, of course, they dry faster in the winter because it's not as humid, but I live in the American South, so it's pretty much humid all the time. Careful if you do have a clothesline because the sun can bleach items, so don't leave them out there too long. If you don't have a drying rack or a clothes rack in the backyard or anything like that, even just putting it on a hanger. If not, lay it flat to dry. Lay down a towel on the floor, the bed, the counter, wherever, and just lay it out flat and give it overnight, a couple hours, however long it needs to dry. Because of course, if it's really thin and delicate, it's probably not gonna take that long to dry. All right, so now that we've covered the basics, meaning vintage clothing likes cold water on a gentle cycle, the dryer is the devil, and different ways to air dry your pieces, uh, you may be left with wrinkles. The only benefit to a dryer is if you take it out right when it's done drying, I mean, it's not gonna have as many wrinkles. It really kind of fluffs out all the wrinkles. Uh, still not worth it to put these things in the dryer. Something we invested in, which they're not that expensive, I think we got ours at Costco for not that much, but uh, a steamer. Uh, steamers are great for getting wrinkles out of vintage clothing, and if you are serious about starting a collection, investing in a steamer is one of the best things that you can do. I would not spray um, chemicals or anything on vintage clothing, no de-wrinkling spray, and speaking about freshening up, I wouldn't be spraying Febreze or any other chemicals on there, just because you don't know how the chemicals are going to react with the fabric. Fun fact um, and something scary, one time I accidentally got nail glue on a pair of pants and it ate a hole in the pants. It was like acid. All right, so we've washed, we've dried, we've de-wrinkled, and now how are we gonna how are we gonna store this? I like to hang up all my clothes just because I like to see all of my clothes. And like I said before, you do have to be careful with hangers because they can damage the fabric a little bit. You can either get velvet hangers or hangers with some sort of fabric around them to protect, or I just make sure that I put all of mine on flat hangers so they don't have the little grooves in there for straps. Unless your vintage pieces have straps, then you can use those little grooves, but those grooves can 
put a uh, put a dent in your clothing, which isn't cute for vintage or, or non-vintage clothing. But you can also fold your items over kind of the bottom part of the hanger, if that makes sense. Um, pretty much wherever you hang them up, you may get a crease, so that's just something to consider. Sometimes what I like to do is take an old pillowcase, cut off a little part in the middle, and slip that over, over the garment just to keep it dust-free. If I know I'm not going to wear it for a while, just keep it protected so nothing else with like sequins or beads or anything can tear at the fabric. It just, it's a good reset recycling project for those old linens that you don't really need anymore. Just use them for, to protect things you actually do like. One additional note that I'm going to add in with a disclaimer saying this isn't for every item and this isn't for every person is not all things have to be washed every time you wear them. I've heard the same thing with jeans, that jeans you should only wash like every 20 or so uses or when they're really, really soiled. Uh, I don't wear jeans, so I'm not sure, but I do know that's true for some vintage clothing, especially if it's an outer layer, like a sweater or a jacket or something like that. If it's not touching your skin, you can get away with not washing it for longer, if that makes sense. Uh, same with skirts. If I have a skirt that I wear tights under and a separate blouse, I mean, I could wear a skirt two or three times before I wash it. And just remember, the less you wash your item, the longer it will last. Well, that about covers it. I hope everyone has a really good week. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and find me on social media. I'm at Low Marie Vintage Everywhere. And don't forget to check out the online shop. There's a link to it in the description below. Uh, check it out. You might find some really great pieces to add to your own personal collection. Uh, it's almost the holidays, so I think you owe yourself a little treat. If you have any questions, just shoot me a message either on Etsy or here or really anywhere on social media. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you.